Welcome back, people. So, again, today we are back with Bassmaster Fishing 2022. So, I did a little tutorial on this, and I also did a video of a hot spot and uh, me catching lots of fish. And today, I'm going to be buying my first ever new rod. So, we don't have to go back to the main menu for that, which is pretty good. So, I'm going to hit triangle. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're going to have many videos of this game. Plus other fishing games and new games, old games, pre-order games. So uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next video. And also, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, we now have memberships. The link for that will be in the description below. Don't forget to drop a like and leave comments about this game. Let, let us know what you think about it. At first, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't a big fan on this game. Um, the pitch quality is pretty decent. It was the um, striking of the rod. Yeah, wasn't a big fan of that. And if you've been watching my videos from the beginning of this, you will know that, um, yeah, that's one thing that I do find a little bit strange is the striking. But other than that, I've finally got the hang of the game now. And I'm actually quite enjoying it. So anyway, we hit triangle, we hit X. Let's go down to rod. And then if we come down here, we got all different rods. We've got spinning and bait casting. we got length. Length. Might be a good one to go for, you know. Okay, that one's on special offer. Seven foot three. Um, okay, purchase. There you go. That's my first ever rod. Now we've got to select that rod. Oh, I think I'll... Hold on. I think I bought the same rod as what I already had. <laughs> I think I did. 218, 44. Uh, 213, okay. Um, I wonder if you can... Is this purchase? So if I press square, no, it doesn't let you do anything. Hmm. All right. Let's buy a new reel. That's five thousand. There you go. And we press X to select it. And then I wanted to buy some better line. Um. So I could either go for the twenty pound or the thirty. Let's go for the twenty. That's a big upgrade compared to what I had. I did have seven pound on there, so. Yeah, big upgrade. Line white. Oh, that's the one that I've got selected. Um, might not bother with that just. Uh, I don't. Nah, I might not bother with the line weight just yet. Okay, so there you go. There's our new setup. I um, just want to have a look at something real quick. So that's 7 foot 2 inches. That's 213. That one's 218. What was that? Oh, it's not there now. So that's a 218. That one's 5,500. Let's have a look under a spinning real quick. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see how far I can cast with it. 32 yards. That was pretty much what I could do before. I'm just hoping, yeah, there we go. Look at that, it's on 20 on the drag. Now I can take it up a lot more, which technically I should be able to reel the fish in a little bit quicker now. Got my real drag up to 28. Let me take it up to 35. This is only a little small fish though, so I think with a bigger fish, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, with a bigger fish, obviously, I ain't going to be able to take the strain up that high. Take it back down for a minute. 
So now I've got to try and catch a half a decent sized fish just to see how much better this rod and reel is. The reel and the line's probably going to be the, the main thing that's definitely going to be better. Now we've got no interest that time. There we go. This could this could be a bigger fish. No, it don't look very big. <laughs> oh, it was that one. Definitely did look a lot bigger than that. And I honestly thought it was drum. I don't think it was that. That looks like drum. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is a stronger fish. Twenty-seven. That's good because before, if I had a good-sized fish on, I couldn't take the drag up any more than twenty, sometimes eighteen, and uh, any more than that, the hook would then start straining, which obviously can cause it to break. But I'm up to thirty. I definitely reckon I could take it up more. Hook slipping at forty. Oh. Okay, so 30, 30 is probably the max. I can take it up more than that, but 30 to a point where, yeah, I know it's safe. That's pretty good. 11 pounds, 7 ounces. So I'm in Hamilton Lake, which this is a hot spot, as I said. I made a video on this one. You can always check it out if you're playing it yourself. Um, after this video, I, oh, wow. I striked. I, I really messed that one up. I don't even know how I, how I got a fish on there. Yeah, in the next video that we're going to do on this game, I think I'm going to head over to a new lake now. It's um, it's probably time that we check out another lake and find another little hot spot because I managed to find this hot spot myself by luck. So hopefully I can in the next lake. It doesn't take me too long to find another hot spot. But we're trying another lake, definitely. Let's see what other fish we can catch. Yeah, I really didn't like the um, oh, hook slipping big time there. Wow. Yeah, I really didn't like the mechanics of the striking part. To be honest, it is a little bit cranky. Um, yeah, it <laughs> it's a little bit strange on the striking. Is it shame? It doesn't just strike up and down, which obviously you can do up and down, but it also does left and right, and I think that's the, the weird part about it. If it just striked up and down, it wouldn't be so bad. But I've been having fun playing it, though, and um, I've been in a couple of other lakes, but mainly I've stuck in this one because this was such a good hotspot. That's how I've managed to buy this new rod and reel because it's so easy to catch fish here. Striped bass. Alright. Well, it definitely is better. I'm not sure so much about the rod. But um Yeah, the reel. The reel is definitely the reel is definitely really good and so's the line. I don't know so much about the rod just yet. I think maybe we, we probably are gonna have to get another rod. I don't know. This one just doesn't seem to quite cut it for me, to be honest. It's so it's so weird the rod angle sometimes. <laughs> so normally I do make videos for around about the eight to ten minute mark, but for Bassmaster Fishing 2022, I've been making them a little bit longer just so that way I can try and show you as much stuff as I can in one video this one I definitely can't take up much more than 22 to 24 so this could be a really good sized fish on here I can go up more but I will just need to drop it when it tries fighting too much I 
concentration is real. <clears throat> cool, this one is definitely giving me a run for my money. Strike bass. Cool, wow. Well. That bar is moving insanely fast. Oh, come on. Didn't think I was going to get that, to be honest. That one must be a good size then. Wow, yeah. That's my new biggest fish, I think. 22 pound, 1 ounces. That's not bad. I'm pretty sure that's my new biggest fish. It could be. So yeah, this uh, this little setup that I have now, it is working clearly, and it is it is okay. But as I said, the reel and the line, I definitely see a difference in that. But the rod, not so much. So <laughs> maybe um, I'm going to head over to another lake and try a little bit of fish in there, and. And obviously earn some more money again I guess and then buy a different rod I definitely am interested in catching some of those catfish but um catfish don't really go for lures so my only other option is is to do bait but I don't know I haven't seen a bait rod yet so I'll have to check that out and see if I can get a bait rod because that'd be pretty cool if I can look how small that reel looks on this rod <laughs> That looks tiny. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. I don't know why I pressed X there. No. I can just force reel that one, surely. Oh, my gosh, the angles. It won't, it won't do it automatically. I was really trying. Flippity flop, what do you got? Three pound eleven ounces. Yeah, a lot of other people who's been watching some of these videos that we put out, um, a lot of people said straight away that you know the game the game doesn't look that good, it's not very good. But you have to give these these games a chance. When I first played it for the first hour, I'm gonna be honest. I thought to myself, this game is not is not for me. It's yeah, it's just not my thing. But the more I've played it, now it actually really is my thing. <laughs> I love fishing games, and as I said, yeah, it's a little bit cranky on the striking and stuff. But other than that, it is a pretty good game. And there's lots of well. There's lots of different things to see and there is quite a few different lakes and there's competitions and you can do multiplayer online and stuff as well. It's pretty cool because um, some of these videos that I have been making, I've done them on play, playing online. As soon as I start catching some fish, everyone starts hovering around me. All random people just turn up out of nowhere because they see that I'm catching. Which is pretty cool though because... They're fishing the same spot, then they get to catch fish the same as I do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, keep an eye out for the next video of this, which is going to be us in a different lake for the first time. Make sure you subscribe and uh, drop a like. And any comments, leave in the comment section below. we we'll catch you people again soon with some more fun and games. I am out.